Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and in this tutorial, we're going to be building the Amtrak Viewliner 1 sleeping car. And this is manufactured by Morrison Knetson. And it's actually the first part of this Trainmaster 39's commission of the Amtrak Crescent, which is a long distance passenger train that operates between Penn Station, New York City, to New Orleans, which most of the route is on Norfolk Southern Railway. And uh, the train consists, consists of these types of cars. So here we have the Viewliner 1 sleeping car and the Viewliner 2. And this is going to be in another video. I'm going to probably have like three videos for this. So Viewliner 2s. Uh, one is a bag dorm and the other one is a diner car. And then we're going to have the Amphlete 2 coaches as well as the cafe car. So thanks to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build and making this video possible because I did want to upgrade my uh, Amtrak passenger coaches for quite a while since the old ones are quite outdated. You can see some of them back over there. You'll see these very old designs. And um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're going to get started by building this base car. And this is going to be the same car for the Amphlete 2, the Viewliner 2, and the Viewliner 1 cars. So to get started on that, we're going to take some materials. Take out blackstone brick block, I mean slab uh, wall. Dark oak slab, dark oak fence gate, black concrete, polish andesite stairs, block and slab. And let's see, an iron trap door. So first off, uh, each of the cars are going to be 39 blocks long, excluding the couplings. So we'll go right over here, add in a dark oak fence gate, add another one to the side, open that up. And for now, I'm just building one half of it. And then we'll add in a dark oak slab on top. All right, so then behind it, we'll add in this polished blackstone brick block. And then to the side of it, we'll add in black concrete. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab at the front. And then to the side, we're going to add in these three polished andesite stairs. And the third one's going to be cornered. Then we'll add in an iron trap door in the bottom corner. Then we'll add in a uh, polished blackstone brick wall. I'm going to make it three blocks tall like this. Add polished blackstone brick slab at the top on the inner area. And then we'll add in a light gray glass pane on top of the wall here. And a light gray carpet right on top of this slab. Add in <laughs> polished andesite block and a slab. Then two blocks tall, black concrete, and a slab in the front of that. Gonna be our doorway. Then we'll add in this warped fence gate right at this edge here, and we'll open it up. All right, so next we're gonna take out polished blackstone brick slabs. We're gonna add two here. And then we're gonna add in five black concretes. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add two over here, blackstone brick wall. And then two more black concretes. Well, the wheel will take out um, gray terracotta, hopper, polished uh, blackstone brick stairs, also dark oak uh, stairs. So let's go over here and we'll add in this gray terracotta, hopper side of it, upside down, dark oak stairs, skip a block and do the same thing just in the other direction. Add in dark oak fence gates in between the wheels for the axles. And then the inside of this, we're going to add in nether brick slabs. All the way across like that. And then polished black stone brick stairs facing inwards. Inside of these hoppers. And a polished black stone brick slab in the middle of that. Like so. Then at the top, we'll add in two upside down. Polished black stone brick stairs like that. And then a polished and a site stairs right to the side of that wall, upside down like that. All right, next we'll take out polish and a site slab, and this part is going to be 27 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27. 
And once we reach this point, we'll add in that polish and side stairs upside down. And then two of those polished blackstone brick stairs like that. And then we're going to pretty much build the same exact thing. You'll see like the stairs over here, they're going to be the exact same over here. You just build the other half. And we also have to add in a dark oak fence gate in front of this other fence gate on the ends. The same thing on the other side. Like that. Alright, so once you have both halves, it should look like this. And that's it for this basis car. Alright, so once we have this basis, let's get started on changing this into a viewliner 1. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take out stone brick block, polish andesite block, polish andesite slab, black concrete, uh, this lapis lazuli uh, brick slab, and that should be it. So, let's go over here on the edge here, add in stone brick block, and then polish andesite block, polish andesite slab. And then two blocks tall black concrete and polish and site slab at the top. Then we'll add in lapis lazuli and a brick slab. And then inside of this we'll add in a polish and site blocks. So it's going to be four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. Extend the middle part like that. And extend to the outer edge. Wrap that around like that. Then we'll add in a polish and site slab in the middle of this like that. And we'll go to the other side. And uh, for this side, we'll add in that polished andesite block, four blocks tall. Add another one inside here, polished andesite slab at the top, polished andesite block at the outer edge. Then down here, we'll add in a brick slab, and then lapis lazuli, and then stone brick block like that. Alright, so now we're going to add um, lapis lazuli right over here, two blocks long. And then we'll add in this smooth quartz slab, and then lapis lazuli again. And we'll add in two black glass blocks, lapis lazuli. And we want to make sure that we have these three windows. So it's going to be the first window, the second window, third window. And then we're going to add in three lapis lazulis. Add another window here. And this time we're going to add lapis lazuli inside. Exactly, and we're gonna make two blocks long and go diagonally back out and add in uh, the black glass block again, two blocks long. And we're gonna make um, lapis lazuli next to it and then brick slab on the top of this, and it's gonna go all the way across to the other side, like that. Then we're gonna take out dark oak trap door, we're gonna add it uh, back to back right over here. It's going to be one of the vents here, and then at the top, uh, we'll add in um, upside down, facing each other, um, stone, actually polished andesite stairs, like that, with a pair of bedrocks on top of that, like so. Then we'll add in polish andesite slabs, two blocks long, on both sides of this. And then we'll add in a polish andesite block here that and then the other side polish and site block is going to go all the way across that all right then what we're going to do we add black concrete on the inside of all these windows here and including these slabs at the top just add in black concrete behind them all of them like that so all the windows are indeed blacked out and then we're going to add in uh, polish andesite block on the inside of these slabs all the way across and then we'll add in um, and then we're going to add light gray carpet right above these upper um, section of black concrete and the bedrock like that and go right over here at polish andesite block here and then we're going to extend these windows till they reach all the way to the end all right so once they reach all the way to the end looks like this then go down over here, add in upside down, stone brick stairs here, and then two stone brick slabs, and upside down stone brick stairs on the other side. In the inside of this, we'll add in a pair of cyan terracotta and polished andesite blocks. Like that, so that's going to say, I guess, the word for it, the name of the car. 
Then across the side here, we're going to fill in this wall in with stone brick. So let's use stone brick for that. All the way across like that. And then across this middle section, that's going to be polished andesite slabs. Make a line across the entire car. So should go all the way across like that. And then we'll add in um, light gray glass pane inside right there. An iron bar at the bottom here. Go to the other side. We'll add in light gray glass pane at the top again. And on this side, we'll add in a birch bun at the bottom. Like so. All right, then we're going to add lapsuli behind this smooth quartz slab here. Go back on the outside. Add a stone button inside of the door. Birch button right in the back of this. And a polished black stone button in the middle. Go on the other side. We'll add in a stone button right at that edge like that. All right, so once we do that, we're to copy and build the same thing on the other side. All right, so once we've built the other side, it looks like this. And then we'll fill onto this side, uh, polish and a site blocks all the way across the rest of this hole. So we'll just fill that in. But the other side will have additional windows. It's going to line up with the bottom windows. So we'll take out polish and a site slab. We're going to add that right above the other windows that we have already here. So it's going to be three. Add a black concrete inside and a light gray carpet right on top. And then fill in the rest of the inside of this with polish and site um, blocks. Let's get that done like so. So it's filled in. Very good. All right, so next we'll line up in between these two windows. Go over here and we'll add in a dark oak button at the top of the roof like that. Then go back down here. I'm going to add in two gray concretes. And then a pair of these blackstone brick stairs on either side of it. And then uh, this polished blackstone brick slabs underneath. Like that. Go back over here. And we'll add in a polished uh, blackstone brick slab like that. And then two stairs and a slab. And we're going to change these outer four blocks into polished andesite stairs like that. Then we'll go on the inside and try to go to the center of the car. Add in these black stone brick slabs all the way across over there. And after we're done that, uh, we'll add in two or maybe three gray concretes in the middle. So one, two, and three. Add two nether brick fences upside down. Uh, polished black stone brick stairs. And then add two polished black stone brick slabs like that. And then we'll add in polished and a site. And we're going to make it three blocks wide like that. And uh, let's see, four blocks long. So one, two, three, and then four. Extend the rest out like this. And then we're going to change up uh, these slabs on the outer edge of these. And we'll add on this side two blackstone brick stairs and then the other side two polished andesite stairs. And then go in the middle, add in polished blackstone brick uh, block and stairs on the outer edge. Then I'm going to add a row of polished blackstone brick slabs here. Add another one in the middle and then stone stairs upside down. They're going to be on both sides like that. Then we'll add in uh, actually delete these four blocks here, add in polish and site stairs upside down here. Like that. And then we'll add in this cyan terracotta right behind it in this. It'll be two blocks wide and five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, and then five. And underneath all that, we'll add in stone brick slabs all the way across to the side like that. And then we'll add in a row of three polished black stone brick slabs like that. All right, next we'll take out polished andesite stairs. We're going to add it upside down right here. Facing outwards, other side, same thing. Right diagonal to this wheel. Facing outwards, other side, same thing. 
Adding in the stairs. Like that. Then we'll go down here, add in two light gray concrete. There are stone brick slabs underneath. And then three stone stairs upside down. Over here, delete these four blocks. And then we'll add in two polished andesite stairs on the left. And then uh, polished blackstone brick stairs on the right hand side. All right, then go over here, add in polished blackstone brick uh, slab inside there. The stairs over here. And then we want to have a back to back upside down stone stairs here. And make sure it's stone stairs, not polish and a slate. And we'll add another stairs facing this way. Like that, and then fill in the rest with polish black stone uh, brick slab like that. Alright, so then we're going to go to this side where the door is and add in polish and a slate blocks. By the side of this hole. And then polish black stone brick slab, fill this in. And then add iron trap door underneath these polish and slate blocks. And the other side is different. That's going to be a nether brick uh, fence in these corners. And then blackstone brick slabs for the rest of that. Like that. Alright, so once you do that, that's pretty much it on how to build a Viewliner 1 sleeping car in Minecraft. And thanks to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this video and making this video possible. And if you are interested, we are still making the other cars, Viewliner 2 and the Amfleet 2. So be looking forward to that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.